What's up everybody, The Red Dragon here, and we are checking out some Karg Island Rush Mode. Now, one thing that I'll start off by saying is, you see that server message voice over IP equals team? If you're playing in my server, you know, try it out. Uh, we were playing yesterday, and everybody was having a good time. A lot of people were on the mics, and we were all communicating and working together as a good team. I wish they made it so you could set your default options to team and I actually brought this up the other day on Twitter and somebody else got upset about it and said that's a terrible idea but I, I don't see why having an option for that is such a bad thing uh, because sometimes I forget to change it over to team and the default of course is set to your squad but uh, a lot of times at least in my server and at least on console the the things that I have seen the games that I've played in it's been really fun and, and really good times whenever we get all in a team and we're all working together. And if you do have that one person who's being a jerk and, and totally talking away or their mic sucks or something, just use the mute button and mute them. But you shouldn't have to uh, stop communicating with everybody just because uh, one person you know, is, is not playing by the rules or, or giving you a headache or something. So anyway, I think... Having your IP set to team should at least be an option. And I encourage you, especially if you're playing in my server, to switch it over there. And uh, yesterday we were working together really good as a team. And so was the other team. I got on the other side for a little bit and they were all communicating. Now what you're seeing right here is a gameplay on Rush. And you saw me take the boat. I went all the way far right. I'm trying to avoid as many people as possible. Trying to get in good position. I'm letting my team know, hey, I'm over here. Spawn on me if you need to. And we're working uh, to move in and get the bases. So this is, is Rush, of course. But the power of flank is important whether you're playing Rush or Conquest. And most people... They always go right down the middle. They get right in the midst of the action, and that's okay. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, I do it a lot of times. But if you're really focused on trying to win the game, uh, I like to hit early on uh, and try to get it as soon as I can. Or, you know, if you're late in stages of the game and you're about to lose, then really use that flank, especially on the map that it allows you to. Not all maps are as open as this one. This one's really good for it because you can sneak all the way around. And it's hard for the defense, especially when they're pushed up. See, like, th these guys, there were several up near that line. And I, I just let that guy go because, well, I think he ended up getting killed. But after I started shooting, I was like, you know what? They're not anywhere near the base, so that's actually good for us. So let them stay up there, you know. And if you have a front line on defense that's pushed all the way up, then you've lost the game. The point is to defend the bases. So if you're on defense, have some people up front, you know, trying to push them back and keep them pushed into their spawn. But there's always going to be those people who are able to sneak around like we were and once you do that, if you don't have anybody back there defending, you've lost. And I wish you could hear the communication in the team. And I apologize for this because I was recording. I recorded all the voices, but I had my game audio up a little too loud. So it's really hard and difficult to hear the other team. So instead of you just trying to figure out what they were saying, I just went on ahead and did a commentary over this. But like the guys in front of me right now, they were sitting there saying, hey, let's go far right again because they can't see us all the way until we move up into the next base. So again, the power of flank. Cannot stress it enough. If you're in the mood to win, use it. Uh, and uh, coming over there, and it, it, if you see somebody, a lot of times I'll just let them be. I won't even shoot at them uh, if, if, they're, if they're not looking in my direction. If they don't see me, I just keep on going. And, uh, you know, the, the deal is to try to get into the best position as possible for you and your teammates. And if you do make it over there to the far right like I did earlier and uh, your team isn't there with you, you know, why waste it? Just you got time. You can sit back. You can relax a little bit. That guy, he was he was doing defense and he, he nailed me. I didn't know he was right there. But but there is no rule that says that you have to attack as soon as you get up near the base. You know, sit back, wait on your teammates to come in. 
I had a lot of teammates over here, so we went on ahead and we pushed in pretty hard, and we got this as fast as possible. Like I said, on rush, I like to hit hard and fast. Sometimes it's not always possible. Sometimes the defense is really set up tight around the bases, and you gotta have to, to work your way out through them. Uh, but just take your time, play smart, and it's not always about running up the middle. Sometimes it's about running up the side and being stinky and being stealthy. So use that flank to your advantage, and uh, that's the tip for today for Battlefield 3. That does it for me, the Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.